Damn, hello everybody, it is Rude. So I'm back with another quick little video. On one of my videos, somebody asked how I made, um, how do I make my thumbnails and how do they look like they're all transparent and they just fade into the white. Now, how I make my thumbnails, they are very simple. Um, a monkey can do it, it's pretty freaking simple. I'm gonna show you quickly how I do it. And also, one of my friends is about to start YouTube soon, and he doesn't really know how to make a thumbnail. So, I'm making this quick little video to show him also. So, either way, I'm going to open up Photoshop. And we're just going to quickly open a photo here. I already got one here. It's Kanmaru from Bekonogi. So, if I can actually find it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, a little simple picture here. Now... This is how I do things um, with my thumbnails, the reason why they fade into the white, because if you are on YouTube and you do not have the darkened YouTube app, which makes everything black, like how I have it, I'll show you after I'm done doing this. Mostly YouTube, it's all white, so pretty much if you have the fade in, it's just going to fade in in general and it's not really going to be much of a problem. So either way, this is how I quickly do this, super, super fast, is that I got... Um, the alt color, I mean the control color, um, I got that set to, I got one color set to white. And that's the color that's really going to be needed because that's pretty much is going to fade into the back of my thumbnail. Now, you're going to make a new, um, a new layer. You don't have to click off this to actually remove the background layer. You can leave it as it is. You're going to create that to make a new layer, right? And then after you do that, you're going to click control backspace and then you're just gonna have a white background now this is what I do is that I have the white background here I just bring it down bring it down there I don't want to make it too big cuz if I make it a little bit too up here it's gonna block out the entire thing so I just bring it down a little bit and then I just click control J eh, control J cuz control J is copy and uh, I just bring it to the side right pretty simple self explanatory pretty simple and then I just bring it over here and I make four corners all four corners even if you don't know how to do the even they do have rulers if you want to use them but it's really not important to actually use it it's not really necessarily needed and then I make one more control J one more copy I should say and then I have it right there as you can see it's a little bit even this is actually a little bit too um too low I mean too high so we're gonna bring that down a little bit and now it looks even right so this is what I do I click the um, eye icon here to take off the visibility of um, the background layer and then I just click uh, and then I just um, right click is it right click yes yeah, right click click right click and then I just click um, merge visible right and that just gives me that entire layer now everything there has been merged together now this is the next step of this is that you click another you could yeah, you could create another copy of this you click control J and then you just bring it down until it's even enough that it doesn't actually show the background right there right you just bring that down on these both corners like on your bottom um, left and your upper right you just bring it down and then you click on um, the check here to actually say that you want that to happen usually what I do is that I take off the trans information um controls and I see if everything is aligned perfectly right as you can see right now it looks like a big big block big block now after I click and put back on the transformation controls I usually um, right click again I go to blend in options and I go let me bring this over here I go into it went over to my third monitor so yeah and when I go after I click blend in options I go into gradient overlay and as you can see it gives us a quick little gradient overlay. I click reverse so I can actually have it, I can actually have the colors going down and actually fade out. Now they usually start you off with that color but usually your second preset here is um, a color and transparent as you can see right there. And then with that you can pretty much click on any one of these depending on whatever you want to do. You can click it and you, let me drag this back over and you can just slide down and actually decide to choose whatever color you want to choose and it will switch to that. So since it has an orangey background, I would usually bring it down a little bit. 
into that little color to actually match the picture or the background or anything to just make it actually seem like it's blended in with the um, wallpaper, right? Or photo, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? And then after I do that, as you can see, it's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to bring it back up or just back down. Or you can just be the lazy person and just do that, do that, and then just click that and you'll most likely be able to get it. But that's if you want to be lazy. That's just a quick way if you want to get a video out quick as possible. Now, you can do the same thing over here. Usually doing the same thing over here is pretty much your best option. Or you can just make it white to actually make it look like that. I just do the same thing. And then usually it fades down into the white. And then pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much how you have it. Now, for people who wanted to know about my text, my text for any of my videos and I mean, my text for any of the videos I make and for any of my thumbnail, I use Ninja Rush because it just looks the best to me. Now, um, as you can see right here, it does actually have the orange in the inside and it fades down. And it fades down into the white and then the color just completely blends out and then disappears. So that's pretty much how I do it. Now, as you can see on my YouTube video, let me let me go on my YouTube channel real quick. As you can see on my YouTube channel, I do have the um, dark back, the dark um, skin for YouTube. So I don't really see it that much. The reason I have it is so if I look at it and I see a mistake in the thumbnail, I can easily recorrect it and people won't really notice, which does happen kind of a little bit, but I'm actually getting better at it. I really don't save the projects because that is actually a waste of time. So yeah, I'm going to click that off and then I'm going to restart my page or just refresh in general. And then when it goes to my white YouTube background, everything is just fade in and then you either have and then I either have a color or etc and etc and it just fades in and blah blah. You won't really notice that much. See? Pretty simple. Let me just go on to my other account. Yeah, this is my old playthrough channel. I don't really use it anymore. So, yeah. Now, as you can see, going on my channel, most of the videos or any of the colors of anything just fades into the white and it really looks like the picture is just right there and the colors are just hanging off and etc and etc. So that's pretty much how I make my thumbnails. Um, that goes out to the person that actually wanted to know that. Um, my thumbnails are pretty self-explanatory and pretty much plain. I don't really go over the top with thumbnails because there's it's not really necessary for you to go over the top with thumbnails some people do the easiest way of the thumbnail where they just get a picture or they just take a picture from anything or like if you're in if you're using like sony vegas right and you need a um quick little thumbnail right you just click your thing and you'll have it on your desktop usually people do that and then they go on google they google the ping of whatever the fuck they're doing and then they just put it there and then they just type in whatever the hell they want that works for some people but this is how i do it it's simple as hell and since most people do not have the dark skin of um the youtube app um the youtube chrome app i should say you won't really notice it like that so either way people um i think that's all i wanted to talk about yeah um, that goes out to the person that actually wanted to know how I do this. Now, for the text, of course, let me just put anything like, let's just put Baca. Um, we're going to copy the color of the book here real quick. Let's just put ba Baca, right? Baca. Put it over to the side. There. That's my ninja text. Um, my ninja rush text, if you did not know. Now, um, it's the simplest thing. Like, if you want to have that little little stroke or whatever that little background brick bracket or whatever you can just click stroke and then usually i go with white because white usually matches um, most of everything and i usually put that at six or five um, mostly six because six actually makes it um look like it's there as you can see right now i'll put this video in 1080p so you can actually see the rich quality of everything and etc etc and if you want to go into more detail you can put inner shadow which pretty much makes it pop right there or inner glow which makes it pop even more or color overlay which is stupid you don't want to do that gradient don't do that on it and pattern it's whatever you want to do or you want to make it really look really really good you just add a little drop shadow and then you just actually turn up the 
spread of it and etc and etc or you pretty much just put it wherever you want to put it but usually what I do is that I just do a stroke I just do a stroke and I change it to white and I just have it on the outside have it at 7 click OK and then hold shift and then um, use my left click and then just drag it and then just have it as big as possible as I want and that's pretty much how simple doing thumbnails are like if you want to do a generic basic thumbnail that actually looks good as hell and it's not like how the other people that make thumbnails they go over the top for some particular reason which is unnecessary as fuck but yeah this is how to make my type of thumbnail my thumbnails look pretty damn good if I do say so myself this method is how I do things so either way people I think that's all I want to talk about that's how you make my thumbnail Shout out again to the person that wanted to know that and also to my friend that I will be showing this to in a little bit So either way people um, that's pretty much it Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video quick and fast. I won't be doing videos like this on um, Photoshop because I'm not even good with Photoshop. I, I barely know what the hell I'm doing my channel banner I made that out of being drunk <laughs> honestly I was drunk one day and I was just like fuck it let's do it so I made that quick little thumbnail it doesn't look like it doesn't look like crazy over the top like how these other people have it but it looks pretty damn good so either way people that's all I want to talk about um, I will see y'all for my next video most likely it will be a playthrough or Vindictus or Blade and Soul because I haven't played Blade and Soul in like two days after I hit level 20 I just took a break so either way, that's it, and I will see y'all next time, people. Peace.